What is up Florida Outdoors people? Welcome and good morning to each and every one of you. Oh, it's it's early and I did not sleep well last night. Um, time check for you. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. We've got an hour drive to the boat ramp. Um, we're going to be doing some duck scouting today, guys. Um, yeah, I'm tired, if you haven't noticed. I probably got to bed around like two in the morning I just couldn't sleep for some reason so yeah I'm working off of like four hours of sleep but I have coffee so there's that I have coffee and I have the excitement that I get to provide an awesome video for you guys so with that being said we're gonna head up to the duck hunting uh, spot we're gonna head to the st. John's it's gonna be about an hour drive so I will catch up with you guys in a little bit see it All right, what is up, Florida Outdoors people? As you can see, we are at the boat ramp. Um, this is not our normal boat ramp that we come to for duck hunting. I am on Lake Washington right now, and I wanna show you guys just how bad the water is right now, all right? Look at that. There's not a breath of wind out here right now. And it's not too hot it's not cold it's just kind of perfect a little humid but hey it's florida we're by the water it's going to be a little bit of humidity i'm not going to complain so with that being said guys i'm gonna drive around lake washington i'm probably gonna go that way which is north um we'll probably start out uh where we have shot wood duck in the past so I'm going to head north, got a little bit of a journey, so I'm happy you guys are coming along with me. It's going to be exciting. Uh, just, I, wanna, I just want you to take a look one more time, guys, at just how magical this looks right now. All right, let's get at it. See you. All right, y'all. So um, slight issue. There is a uh, dam right here. I obviously have never been here before. Um, you know, it's not someplace I typically came. I usually came from uh, Lake Poinsett South. I've never taken Lake Washington North to uh, whatever that lake just north of me is that I'll probably put right below me right here. Um, but yeah, that's a dam. And there's no way that I'm going to get any further than this. So, uh, I'm going to show you why I thought I could get to uh, my spot. The place that I've shot wood, duck, and teal. Not last year, but the year before. Uh, I'm going to put that right here. Okay, guys. So, as you can see here, here's the boat ramp. We're going to move north on Lake Washington into this little pocket area and what I didn't realize I didn't zoom in far enough to see that the dam was right there so that's where I stopped um, all I saw was just this big river moving north so that I could get to where I wanted to go because I'm coming from Fort Pierce which is down south to Lake Winder here so I thought it would be easiest to do that all right so I hope that was uh, kind of informative for you guys I guess we're going to kind of scout Lake Washington since I'm already here. Um, at least just check out this area. Uh, and then probably what I'll do is I'll uh, throw the boat back on the trailer and we'll go... Uy, we'll go even further north. Um, it's duck hunting. Sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't, but I need to uh, get the boat started and turn around because I don't think I really want to go over that dam. So, I'll check in with you guys later. See ya. All right, y'all. So, I uh, just want to kind of show you what I've been doing lately, kind of a trick that I've picked up. Uh, I'm doing this, so what I'll do is I'll go along the edge when I find like a good spot. 
Uh, there's, I mean, you guys know what I typically look for when it comes to scouting for ducks. I'm looking for stuff like that back there, uh, the big grass piles where I can tuck the boat up and hide. Because uh, I, I like hiding, I like sitting in the boat and hiding uh, a little bit more than I like kind of doing a marsh seat and hiding the boat. Um, if it's shallow enough, I'll do that, but basically I prefer to just sit in the boat. It's just more comfortable for me. All right. So, uh, like I was saying before I got sidetracked, because you guys know I get sidetracked. Oh, look, big old gator. Sorry, ADHD is acting up. Man, I wish I had tags for for Brevard County. I I got I got tags in uh, in St. Johns County. So um, I, my ADD is acting up. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so, like I was saying, what I'll do is I'll run along the edges after I find a good spot. I'll sit there with the GPS. I'm like, all right, you know, I'm I'm looking for like, hopefully. Uh, two and a half feet and under, but three feet is kind of like the maximum that I'll go to. Um, right now it's it's sitting there at like two and a half feet, so that's not horrible. But what I'll do is I'll take one of my decoys because you know, one you want to make sure that your decoys are gonna uh, be able to touch bottom and stay in place. But two, what I'll do is I'll use it like a depth gauge, so I'll just dip it in the water and then. It's sitting right there. Obviously, this is just hyperbole. Um, that's, I'm not going to bend down and, and grab it. But basically, I'll see where it sits on me, um, so that I know, you know, it's not going to. The water's not going to come over my waders. So I'm going to keep moving, guys. Um, go look at that gator over there, because you know, gotta ADHD is acting up. But hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Um, you guys know I, I love duck scouting. This is my thing big old dragonfly you guys know I love duck scouting this is my thing guys so I'm gonna keep moving along Lake, Lake Washington hope you're enjoying the video so far see it all right y'all so we moved a little bit further south um, I found some good spots on uh, Lake Washington spots that I think are gonna be good just based off of a few years of duck hunting I mean I'm never gonna say that I'm an expert because there's always more stuff that we can learn. Um, but just based off of the couple years that I've gone duck hunting, um, I found some good spots. But we went south to uh, Sawgrass Lake, and we're going to keep probably moving south a little bit more. Um, you know, I've got enough big open lake spots, so if I don't see anything that amazing out here I'm probably just gonna uh, just bypass it I mean I haven't looked at the depth uh, for here but I think it's probably gonna be more of the same as uh, Lake Washington you know the the two and a half to three foot depth we've just been having a lot of rain up it, we, well we've been having a lot of rain in Florida in general but um, Brevard County has been having a lot of rain so uh, the water is going to be a little bit higher, but nothing's going to be as bad as how uh, Lake Okeechobee was last year. It was my first year hunting Lake Okeechobee, um, and you guys can tell from the lack of videos that I got uh, from duck hunting last year that uh, Lake Okeechobee wasn't that great. I mean, I, I hunted it a few times. I got, I had a lot of fishermen coming in the decoy spread and just, it was just frustrating and it was, I didn't feel like driving all the way up here to Brevard County, but you know what? I love duck hunting so much that I just said, you know what? We're coming up to Brevard County. I don't care. Um, even if I have to camp out for a few days, you guys deserve good duck hunting videos. All right. My audience is well worth the like two gallons it takes me to drive up here in the Silver Bullet and take the Jenny Lynn out to go duck hunting. All right. So, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna continue moving south because, well, the boat's just doing a circle now because I didn't feel like putting in neutral. So, hope you guys are enjoying my little, uh, my little circle and my little speech. Yeah, it's the sun's 
just it, it's uh, it, this is the quality that you get when you watch a florida outdoorsman video just weirdness and boat circles so appreciate you guys tuning in i'm gonna keep moving south i uh, appreciate it talk to you guys later all right y'all so found some good spots on lake washington uh found one good spot on the sawgrass lakes uh you know i'm probably gonna stick to lake washington for if i do hunt down here sorry it is blazing hot out of nowhere uh probably because there's no wind uh but if i'm gonna hunt i'm gonna do it If I'm gonna hunt down here, then I'm going to. If I'm gonna hunt down here, then I'm probably just gonna hunt Lake Washington. Um, there's no point in me trying to really fight to get down to the Sawgrass Lakes, especially when I didn't really see that impressive places to duck hunt. I mean, just kind of more of the same kind of deeper water um, looks real muddy looks like it'd be a pain to walk through so like I said I'm gonna stick to Lake Washington I saw some good some good things there um, saw a few ducks flying they were kind of off in the distance so I couldn't really identify what they were but they were definitely ducks and you know fingers crossed they were wood ducks because I would love to get a nice mounted wood duck for you guys, and I know you guys would love to see that. So, with that being said, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a little bit more scouting up north where, on uh, Lake Poinsett, so hope you guys are excited for that video. With that being said, that's going to do it for me, guys. Always remember, if you ain't wet, you ain't hunting in Florida. See ya.